Hey guys, what's up? Of course, it's none other than who? Your girl, Cooking with Tammy Live. And today, guys, I am back with another video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make my delicious, guys, delicious, del delicious, delicious, tasteful, flavorful lemon pepper wings, guys. These wings, absolutely, I can't emphasize enough. Tasteful and delicious, you hear me? Finger licking good, all right? So without further ado, let's get started, guys. To this bowl, I have washed and cleaned. I cleaned it in salt water and I pat it dry. Uh, chicken wing pieces, wingettes and drumettes. And of course, over here I have the seasonings. I have onion part, <laughs> salivating already guys. I have onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, Montreal chicken seasoning, paprika, as well as of course, lemon pepper seasoning can't have lemon can't have lemon pepper wings without the lemon pepper seasoning right so i have the lemon pepper seasoning on deck and we're going to use all of these wonderful seasonings guys and we're going to tie the flavors all together trust me you got to follow me on this recipe just trust me i make it all the time guys and let me tell you something it's finger licking good all right you would literally eat the chicken to the bone <laughs> you would want to suck the bone by the time you're finished that's how good it is and of course i have all-purpose flour right here on hand and some hot oil because we're gonna fry these babies up. And yeah, let's get started. So to the bowl, I'm gonna add the garlic powder as well as the onion powder. And by the way, how is everyone doing? Ground black pepper. We're gonna season these things up. Montreal chicken seasoning. Smoke, ah, paprika, which I almost lost. And lemon pepper lemon pepper honey lemon pepper and we're just going to put everything to the side for this particular uh recipe i'm going to put my gloves on because we are going to get deep into these wings we are going to combine all of these wonderful seasonings with this chicken all right let's just mix it all in if you want to use your hands without the gloves feel free there's always soap and water just wash your hands really good Yep, what really influenced me guys to wanna step into my laboratory, I call my kitchen my lab because that's where I like, you know, come, uh, create all my recipes and do my little taste tests and everything else and put my little concoctions together. So what really caused me to wanna recreate lemon pepper wings was, for those of you who might not know, I do mukbangs as well. And for those of you wondering, what is a mukbang? Mukbangs is just pretty much where you eat large quantities of food for an audience on TV. So yeah, I do that. Sounds kind of crazy, but it's cool. It's really cool. And you know, there was a big crave going on in regards to lemon pepper wings and lemon pepper wings. So I figured, you know what? Let me go grab me some lemon pepper wings and come back home and do a video, right? Eat in front of the camera. And to be honest with you guys, I took my first bite. Now keep in mind, this is a big food chain, all right? Took my first bite and I'm like, okay, mm, mm. <laughs> ain't nothing to brag about, but it's, it's all right. Ain't all that, but it's all right. So I ended up getting down further into the chicken and I'm like, wait a minute, this chicken is bland. It's plain, like where is the seasoning? I'm expecting like this burst of lemon pepper flavor right and I did not get that at all what I did get was chicken that was fried with no salt no pepper no nothing and then straight out of the pot put a little you know sprinkle a little dry rub or whatever on top let me tell you something by the time I got to the bottom of the tray or the bottom of the container all of the seasoning was literally at the bottom of the container so I'm like no wonder I wasn't tasting anything you know so I, I'm like listen I gotta get in the kitchen AKA the laboratory, and we gotta make this thing work. We gotta figure this situation out because your girl loves flavor and she loves seasoning, you hear me? And I'm pretty certain you do as well. Do not be afraid to season your food. I think it's more so most people, they're a little bit afraid of messing up, but trust me, <laughs> Woo, you gotta season your food. I have some all-purpose flour that I'm gonna add. It's nothing to be afraid of basically. You just gotta try it out. What I always suggest is, and my grandmother always told me this, like if you're experimenting with something for the first time, don't 
add the entire, uh, don't add it to the entire batch, but more so add it to a small amount. And if it comes out good, then why not add it to the entire batch? Now that makes sense. Rather than just not, you know, just, rather than just opting out and not seasoning at all, that makes no sense. Food is supposed to be fun, tasteful, and flavorful. Not boring and bland, okay? <laughs> so yeah, guys. So at that time, we had ended up spending like $60 because remember I said we gotta eat in large quantities. So we had spent like $60 on wings, different flavor wings from lemon pepper to um, spicy wings, blazing wings, this wing, that wing, and you get the picture basically. So to have all those wings and every single one of them, it wasn't even just the lemon pepper, but it was all of them. No flavor, all of the flavor was stuck on the top either in the sauce or on the dry rub, but nothing once you get past the top layer. Really? And it's not like it was cheap. Not like it was cheap. Look at the seasoning, guys. <laughs> Seasoned perfectly. And if you follow all recipe details and measurements, which is on cookingwithtammy.recipes, you can't go wrong with this, guys. You are going to like literally, when you see me, you're gonna give me a hug and a big old kiss because I'm telling you, this recipe right here, guys, is life-changing for lemon pepper wings. I'm telling you. It is life-changing. So delicious. You have people coming to your house, acting like they're coming over to see you, but they're actually coming over for your lemon pepper wings. I'm telling you. It makes a really good, uh, for the most part, game day recipe as well. It really does. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna fry these up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so your girl is back. As you can see, I have finished frying up these delicious wings. Guys, yes, I am done. So, next thing that we're gonna do, guys, is make our delicious sauce. Yes, 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 our lemon pepper sauce, guys. So, to this bowl, I have some melted butter. You can always melt it either on the stovetop or even in the microwave. Whichever one is more convenient for you, you do that. <laughs> And to this butter, guys, I'm going to add some minced garlic. And guys, don't question what I'm doing. Just follow me, okay? If you want banging lemon, pep lemon pepper wings, guys, I always get tongue-tied when I talk about food. <laughs> if you want banging lemon pepper wings, you better follow exactly what it is that I'm doing, okay? With no question. At least test it out first before you start critiquing, okay? Alrighty. And we are also, we are also going to add some paprika. Of course, lemon pepper. Can't have uh, lemon pepper wings without lemon pepper sauce, right? So we got the lemon pepper. We're going to add it to the mixture, as well as some accent. It's gonna tie it all in. And we're also going to add, <laughs> you guys are gonna be like really shocked. If you think what I've added so far is crazy, wait until I tell you what it is that's in this little container. Guys, of course, like I mentioned earlier, I was in the kitchen, in my laboratory, putting together a concoction. And something dawned on me, right? And I'm like, wait a minute. I don't know why my mind was telling me just, just grab for that particular seasoning. I knew how the seasoning tasted, right? But it kept telling me, quick girl, grab for that particular seasoning, and it's gonna tie everything together perfectly. So I listened to my mind, of course. And guys, that seasoning is McCormick's Cedar Plank Salmon with Natural Smoke Flavor Seasoning Mix, guys. You heard me correctly. Cedar Plank Salmon with Natural Smoke Seasoning Mix. Now here's the thing, guys. It's not gonna taste fishy because even though it says salmon, it doesn't have any seafood or any fish or whatever. It means the same thing. It doesn't have any fish products in here. But it does have lime, uh, let me see, let me make sure, lemon peel, and chili, turmeric, and different spices, onion powder, different spices. So believe it or not, even though you could use it for fish, you can also use it for chicken. So that's what I have in this container, guys. Let me tell you something. When you add this right here, it ties together everything. When I say everything, I mean everything, okay? It makes it taste absolutely delicious. It's all about just understanding flavors. And a lot of times we look at certain things and because it's labeled 
for a particular thing, you're like, I'm not using that. I'm just adding some dry parsley, guys, to the mix. I'm not adding that, you must be crazy. What? Sometimes the weirdest things make the perfect com uh, combination. And I say it again, sometimes the weirdest things makes the perfect combinations. All right, guys, now that everything is mixed and combined, and combined, hey. <laughs> I'm going to take the chicken pieces and I'm gonna just coat it in the lemon pepper sauce. Just coat it, you hear me? Just roll it around in there, allow the chicken to play and roll around, and we are gonna coat our chicken. Let me see how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn this this way, because right now it's all about plating as well, so we are gonna start plating. Alrighty. I'm dropping the chicken. <laughs> Just gonna dip it on up in there, let it get sauce all over it. Let it get nice and saucy. You guys like cooking with Tammy? Hmm? You like cooking with me? <laughs> I'm a natural born nut, right? Put it right here. Because not only is good flavored food important, but staging is also important. Because we not only eat with our mouths, but we eat with what we see, like our perception. If something looks good, you're gonna automatically assume what? That it tastes good, right? So, I'm all about plating as well. I don't like to slap anything on a plate because something might taste really good, and because the way how we look at it or perceive it, we're gonna think, oh, it doesn't taste that good, and in all retrospect, it's delicious. So I don't care if I'm serving my kids, my husband, I don't care who it is. I'm really big on plating. Really big on plating. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, I am. All right, we're gonna put it right here. These wings are, oh my God, they look so delicious. And I know they taste amazing because I make this all the time. Because like I told you guys, Went out there to that, uh, went out to the restaurant, or should I say big food chain, and that transpired, and I was like, what? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. All of this hype for nothing? Don't you just hate that? You get all excited for nothing, okay? And so I figured, okay, I try another place, another spot, an even bigger food chain, and the same thing happened. So I've came to the conclusion that nobody, or should I say the majority of restaurants, they're not seasoning their wings. They're just basically frying it plain and bland and hoping that you order a ton and that you indulge because they're relying on the sauce on the outside or the dry seasoning on the outside to pull it off and tie it all together. If my food doesn't have any seasoning from beginning to end, we gonna have a problem, all right? <laughs> we need seasoning. I'm just drizzling on the extra sauce, guys. Yes, I am. Oh, Lord. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All righty. That looks pretty, right? Yes, it does. All righty. And I have... I'm gonna place a couple lemon wedges, couple lemon pieces right up in there. And you know something, if you wanna add a little lemon, which I usually do sometimes, to the sauce, you can feel free to do that. Just before you dip the chicken in there. And you can just spoon it on, or like I said, you can incorporate it with the sauce, and just roll your chicken around in there, let them have some fun, and yes guys, it will be absolutely delicious. Anyway, so without further ado, favorite time, favorite time, favorite time. It's taste test time. Yay, yay. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me see, let me see. These lemon pepper wings are so good, guys. It has taste from beginning to end. Let me tell you something. If you invite your enemy over to your house, your worst enemy will become your best friend. You, you hear me? Because these wings are so good. 
they will forget all about the problems y'all had and will reconcile right then and there. This, this is how good these wings are. Mm. Mm. For those of you wondering, I got the salmon seasoning mix from Costco's. I don't know if other places sell it, but I got mine from Costco's. And I could taste it. I taste everything. I taste a hint of everything. God. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, these lemon pepper wings are everything. You hear me? Everything. Whew, to get the full recipe details, guys, not just the recipe, but the principle, principle, recipe details. Be sure to go to cookingwithtammy.recipes, guys. Make you these wings. And I'm telling you, <laughs> everyone will be at your house just for these wings, whether it be game day, whether it be just a day to chill, whatever. But this recipe right here, guys, it puts a whole different spin on lemon pepper wings. It actually, and I'm gonna say it, it gives lemon pepper wings meaning. Yes, it does. This recipe gives lemon pepper wings meaning. You hear me? I mean, wow. I have never tasted lemon pepper wings that taste like this. If I did, I wouldn't have came home and went into the laboratory and had tried to create or re re recreate something that made sense. Wow. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I could like literally go on and on about these wings. But anyway, as always, thank you so much, guys, for cooking with Tammy Live. I'm your girl, Tammy. Definitely hit up cookingwithtammy.recipes for full recipe details. And I will catch you guys in another video. Bye, guys.